Hello there. Thanks for your interest in Cloud Foundry and welcome to this tutorial on how to install the Cloud Foundry Pass on your Azure Kubernetes clusters. This is a short video aimed at illustrating all the important steps of the installation process. Before commencing the installation, make sure that the following tools are installed on your local dev machine. The Azure CLI, kubectl, the CF CLI, Bosch CLI, YTT and CAP. With Azure, there is a distinct way in which the clusters are managed. Everything must belong within a resource group. You will need a Kubernetes cluster that has a minimum of three nodes. The recommended node pool size is five nodes. Now, apart from the resource group that you create manually, an additional system generated one is also created, which contains all the CIDs associated with the Azure cluster. This is termed as a node resource group and is something unique to Azure Kubernetes clusters. Within this resource group, create a static IP. Now this IP will be used to configure the domain for the CF endpoint. Ideally an endpoint is another domain, but for purposes of this demo, we will be using a static IP. On to the next step, clone the CF for Kate's repository from GitHub. Just to reiterate, Cloud Foundry is an open source pass that can be installed to any Kubernetes based infrastructure. It helps create an abstraction over the Kubernetes cluster and adds several key components to make Kubernetes work for you, such as routing, logging, access control, isolation, and image builds. In this repository, there is a script that helps generate some YAMLs that are used for installing the PaaS onto the Kubernetes cluster. Make use of the script if you need to test the installation. Now you are encouraged to substitute values corresponding to your environment when running it for your production needs. This demo just makes use of same defaults. The first of the declarative syntaxes is generated using the built in command. And then we will manually add a few values, namely directives for the load balancer and authentication to connect with a container registry. In this case, we will be using Docker Hub. Add the credentials that are required to gain access to the registry. Now the last step before the installation is to use YTT, a templating tool from Carvel to generate the final YAML that will be used for the installation. Make sure to connect the local environment to the remote Kubernetes cluster. This will configure kubectl to point to the target clusters. Now the installation step itself is to make use of cap and provide the YAML generated in the previous step using YTT. That will trigger the installation. There are a handful of components that get installed. These can be monitored using canines and checking the status of the various pods and CIDs as they get installed on the target Azure Kubernetes clusters. Wait for the deployment to complete. It takes around 10 minutes on reasonably powerful clusters, much shorter if more compute resources are available. Once you see a success message, it means that the installation is complete. The best way to test the installation is to push an app that comes with the repo. In this case, it's a simple Node.js app. Pushing an app is as simple as typing CF push on the terminal, followed by the app name as an argument. Now what follows is a series of build steps and deployment to Kubernetes is also done with no additional effort. Once the app has been built, the instance is started, a route is generated by Cloud Foundry, which you can use to access the application. 
You can also examine the application using K9s and checking the corresponding pods in the CF workloads namespace. This completes the verification and so we can consider the installation to be complete as well. For more information about Cloud Foundry, please visit cloudfoundry.org. The Cloud Foundry community can be reached on Slack at slack.cloudfoundry.org. You can have all your questions about Cloud Foundry in general or specific to this installation on Azure answered there. Do join us and thank you for watching.